Here's a few pictures and a little slideshow of what Millie and Michael and our daughter Becky have been doing living on the road so long. Okay, here's our van Silk Roads and it was a great van, just the best motor I ever seen. And we painted it up and did a lot of barter fairs throughout Oregon, Washington, California and lived in it and cooked in it. It was a fabulous ride. The best uh, we could just run the battery down and just push it a couple of feet and pop start that motor. Here's some pictures. There's Millie sitting in the van and the picture below is our crafts booth and our little folding wood stove and we're cooking Thanksgiving dinner in Rogue River National Forest in Oregon right there. Just fabulous fun van. And now here's Millie sitting at the Rainbow Gathering and us hitchhiking off to it in Colorado. Uh, back in the early 80s when our daughter was little, we hitchhiked thousands of miles all over the country and completely safe back then. It wasn't dangerous. I would never consider doing it nowadays, but back then it was people were nice and we were street savvy so we knew which car to get into and which not to so it was a lot of fun and there's the picture of Millie again all dressed up in her hippie stuff at the gathering and uh, totally enjoyable fun times back then and here she is sitting at the gathering with uh, these are deadheads with their bus who had come there after the dead show and there's the old Colorado rainbow flag sign and that was the last one we went to that was kind of the change in the rainbow gatherings they weren't uh, just nice people anymore you started to get some really grubby kids okay here's some uh, images of the bus we bought up in Homer Alaska and we were living in that Winnebago while I was converting the school bus into a beautiful house and uh, we're just right there on the spit and there I cut the roof off the bus with a $20 jigsaw broke my jaw in the process but it worked out and painted it up and I framed it and did decorations to hold the solar panels and uh, on the back here, that's for our propane tanks. And here's some little details of how I did the windows. The upper portion was our daughter's bedroom. And we had the back bedroom and the rest was done up like a really pretty boat motor home. And there's our kitchen. And before I put the cabinet doors on, I love to cook. So we had a very, very fancy full-size stove and kitchen and it was a really nice bus and there's Becky our daughter ready to go off to her high school dance and uh, this is one of the reasons we went to Alaska so that we could get her into a safe school and there's the bus home out there with our VW that we used to uh, go shopping in and here's a super storm that hit us up in Alaska but the wood stove I put in was fabulous it kept us super comfortable and never never got cold in the bus and there's Becky bringing in some wood and uh, that's what it looks like when it snows in Alaska and there's our wonderful cute retarded Labrador here who uh, was too scared to drive in cars so that was our last dog and here's some more blizzard shots in the bus yeah it was wonderful it was a lot of fun being out there on Homer spit living in uh, these wild temperatures and going fishing and just really lots of fun and there's another picture of our VW which was cool and it is true their heaters are terrible and that's a picture of the Salty Dog Saloon and it's a great place it's open all year round and it's in the storms the fishermen all sit in and chat and have beers 
there's the spit in the summer up in Homer with the uh, salty dog and here's Becky with Chewy, that little Labrador <laughs> standing in front of the Coal Point Trading Company sign and there she is getting ready for her first day of school all excited and happy waiting for the school bus that would take her in and there's some wonderful pink salmon I caught down at the fishing hole this area was just fabulous for fishing and that's Kachemak Bay with Millie standing on the beach there and you could catch halibut and salmon and cod and this is a sailboat that a French couple built and they actually sailed from France all the way around and came up to Alaska and they took us out sailing and what, uh, Homer's a great place to meet world-class uh, cruising sailboat people and these people were amazing and then we moved down to Sitka Alaska and bought this little boat and lived on it in Sitka Harbor and uh, it was kind of exciting we were waiting for an apartment to open it's a tiny place so it's tough so we lived on that little skiff in the harbor while waiting for the apartment and we had sold home and kept the VW and moved down here to either build a float house or do another bus and and this was my masterpiece this was a bus I did in the yard right there at the apartment and uh, these are some little pictures of what I did inside the bus and uh, this is another part of the project where I cut the bus back and built a small rolling home that attached to the back of the bus and that was kind of cool then I got really sick and just couldn't finish the project but it was a fun project and uh, I like building things and uh, someone else took it on and enjoyed it and here's a picture of Millie and Becky when we're taking the uh, Alaska Marine Highway ferry over to Juneau to go shopping and there she is up on the deck and this is the solarium which is a covered area on the ferries and just great fun place to sit and drink a beer and just do your trip and here we are over in Juneau, Alaska, and Juneau is the big town. It's got the Costco's and the Walmarts, and everyone goes shopping by taking the ferry across. And here they are at the aquarium. Yeah, Alaska was cool. It was a fun place. This is a picture of Matanuska, the uh, the big area, the big state park up there, and another gorgeous place and this was a really nice motor home and utility trailer that we had in Oregon and used that to go to craft fairs and uh, just travel about in the woods and this was our last uh, motor home now we're in a trailer being pulled by a van but this worked out really good it was a classic American clipper that was in great shape and then here's a shot of how I put the solar panels on top of the utility trailer and I built the system so that it would actually plug right into the motorhome that's our uh, Air 403 wind generator that we had one up in Alaska and it worked great the, they don't work great in most places you know so I don't suggest getting it Here's a little interior shot of our utility trailer with our two solar controllers and our big inverter and this is where we stored our stuff. Well I hope you liked uh, a little bit of the images and have a happy trails. Good day to you.